What's going on guys, Simi Wild Wolf from Simi Wild Productions here and this is just going to be a little video basically just discussing on basically what this year because I, I can't believe that 2022 has already come to an end and well it's not going to come to an end and it's not going to end in a few weeks so I think I'm going to get a little quick video based on what I've been through this year I'm looking back on the year as a whole and what are my plans for, for 2023 as a whole. Now, I'm just going to get this straight out of the way. 2022 was the roughest year of my 26 years on Earth. I would say it's the overall worst year on most because 2020 because of the C word and 2016 is probably still the worst because of the depression I went through. I think that was a really rough year. I don't think, I don't think any year is really ever going to top that year for me as being terrible. But this was definitely up there on single I think this has been rough on all the stuff I've been through, honestly, all the changes and all the things I got, I went through this year. Because, I mean, it's not that way, honestly. I mean, it's not great. I mean, I was just trying to adjust to life, trying to do new things and all that jazz. And I was still loving my job at Rocco, even despite a lot of the anxiety attacks I had there. Like, I love, you guys know how much I love my job at Rocco Tacos back in Florida. And I even started doing some karaoke at a place that was nearby it, and that was actually a lot of fun to do. Like I was having a blast doing that. I mean, I made some friends. I even got to meet some friends over there as well. That I still do occasionally talk to. But then, basically, you guys have followed my Twitter. I'm pretty sure a lot of the story was going on with me. You guys follow my Twitter or my Instagram. But if it doesn't know, basically, my mom and dad basically got divorced. They basically, my mama basically decided to like, hey. I don't want to deal with you anymore. I don't want to deal with my dad's bullshit anymore because for those who don't know, I'm not sure, Cody. My dad was pretty much an asshole. He was like, I mean, he also like a terrible person in some ways, but he was one of the people that was always so hard to talk to and someone who was always, I always had so many problems away and never took any accountability or thing involving himself and just never even trying to even talk to, be around his kids or try to get to know his, his own children. And when trying to deal with people something he's into, you know, try to find to be into. And that's always been the frustration I've dealt with probably for a majority of my life. And not just me, I mean, Chris, and I well, my family had issues with my dad, but that stuff I'm not going to explain in this video. But I'm sure if you guys don't know, you know, wouldn't know about that from my Twitter or if you talk personally. But yeah, it's been a lot. Then honestly, and also as a feather right now, they have officially divorced. And honestly, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming, because, again, you know, my dad, my dad was just, well, this last year though especially, well, the boys had issues with my dad, I think the last year when it started to come at his peak, when it started to come at his limit, honestly, and I was so constantly like screaming and yelling, and like, I, I was scared to even say one little thing to him, like, I was scared to even say the simplest things to my dad, because I was afraid that he was going to yell at me about it. Or find a way to yell at me about it. It's like, that's how bad it got. And I've already had the issue for years, but the last year wins was really apparent. And you know, and for then I was not just done not to feel that way, but last year was really apparent. I think that, I think that honestly my walls will cause the anxiety attacks I had in my last job back in Florida. And also what happened because basically June first, I basically end up moving. Yeah, I end up moving. Move. Thing, which for guys don't know, I, I pretty much was was in Florida my whole life, and basically, it's something I've never really done before. It's moving is something I never done before in my life. Like the only place I really ever been in my life was in Seattle, like twice. That's because my grandparents lived. That was years ago. There I'm living right now. I don't really want to say, but it's based somewhere in Massachusetts. But I don't really want to say it because I know. If I'm sure you guys don't know if you follow me on Twitter. But basically, it's been a lot. And something I've never really done before is moving to a new area. And there's still a way for me that I kind of didn't want to, but at the same time, I, I, I couldn't be able to find able to live anyway, so. It's not like I was forced to do, honestly, but. I mean, for a while, I definitely wanted like, a change in my life, so I figured, why not try to do a change in my life? So that's what I did. That is what I did. I had to go to another area in my life. Another area. 
Like I said, I've always wanted kind of to change my outfit anyway, so I figured, why the hell not? But what will I know? June 1st to basically a few days before my birthday wound it up being the roughest portion of my life. Well, again, 2016 and 2020 are worst years in general for me. That portion in my life was the most roughest, toughest, and the most beat it down I've honestly have ever felt in my entire life. Like, and, and this is something I usually is trying to stay positive about everything. I'm someone that obviously would not be a person to be talking to me. I'm someone that's always so friendly and always so puppy and positive, and that's truly how I am in real life. Like, I always someone that always tries to spread the positivity, which, like, I know how I started doing that with the positivity, but honestly, everyone's people like positive positivity, but. Yeah, I'm someone that basically is always a positive person, I usually am. You know, I may have a rough moment, I'm usually, in the end, still stay positive, in the end. But this was the first time, probably, probably since 2016, where I find it hard to actually stay positive. I mean, it didn't help you pretty much, like, stuck in a crappy hotel, had to deal with so many little issues. Basically, had to get a new car, and had to take Uber out of the job that we did get for a whole month. My brother was in a job where he was miserable, I mean, general, and, you know, I was stuck in a pretty much a very crappy hotel with not much to do. All people were just bored out of my fucking mind. Like, I was, like, I was literally bored out of my mind there. Like, you cannot be on the computer there, actually, didn't help me. And help there was not much to do, not much to go out, like, I was much stuck in a hotel, and you were just walking around that great as well, and... I mean, I did make some, I mean, I love, I did make, I mean, I would say I did make some love with your friend, but loving you, but Kathy, that I still talk to you to, to this day, and I still visit because she is a great person, and I keep friends with a few people that actually next I have next to the hotel, but, but it was still miserable, I was like, I, I, I found it really hard to really stay positive, and, and yeah, just, but the only really big positive I've had, I dealt with, was basically, the job I did get, which basically was another busted job, that was definitely a little different. And I mean, I did pretty much the same things, but just I had to get used to using the trays to pick up tables and everything, which was definitely an adjustment for me. But that job in general was probably the only main like positive for me. I mean, I did have my little issues with the job here and there, but it was a great place with great people, fun, awesome people, and just an around great environment. And that and that definitely did help me overall. But again. It was always positive when it felt like no matter how hard you tried, basically there were so many bad things going around, especially when you had to deal with stuff like, I mean there was definitely a few other stuff that I'm not really going to get into in this video, but there were a lot of big family issues, and of course my dad basically being one of them who, again, my dad always claims that he loves us, that he cares about us, and I'm sure he does, I'm not denying that, but at the same time, you don't pull this shit that people you love, that's why I've always said, and I still stand by that. But it was rough, honestly, especially trying to deal with his bullshit and everything, and the fact that he basically didn't want, want to send us any money and all that stuff, and simply they wanted to help us and wanted to do, be there for us, but yet he didn't. Now, like, it was getting to the point where we were stuck in the, you know, stuck in the hotel, and we were much near out of money. It was getting that bad. It was getting that bad it was getting that bad like again that was a so mind sunken period that I didn't know if it was even going to end honestly honestly like I didn't know how we're going to end up getting out of that honestly cause honestly but you know once that finally manned up and finally gave us that selling check that well the Basically, my mom said basically, why not fuck it? Just, just have him sign those checks so we can get the support settled. We can actually get a place again. Also, can you, you know, also I knew that trying to get an apartment, trying to get a place was going to be hell, but I didn't expect it to be this freaking hard. Like seriously, I wasn't expecting trying to get a place to live with to be so goddamn hard. Like I know that's what I'm saying. Uh, sorry. 
Like, I know that's something that everyone always said was difficult, honestly, and I know a lot of people that had difficult buying an apartment, and some even still have difficult buying an apartment, but I didn't expect it to be so hard, especially when, when the people were actually so close to guaranteeing the place. Yeah, we basically did not get one from stuff out of our control, and I, was, I thought it was going to just take a month for us to get a place, but that ended up taking three and a half months. I thought you also had to get a new car because you all one stop walking out of nowhere. I had to reach my trip to Uber for almost a month. Like, at that moment, I was kind of get sick of Uber, being honest. But yeah, that was just rough, rough, rough. But if it wasn't found in the check, things actually finally gotten a little bit better, actually. I actually started to be more happy again because we were able to get a place. And I remember the excitement once we actually got an apartment. I was like, hello, freaking Louie. I mean, I know I was going to be hell trying to get one touch since we actually do live in like a third floor apartment, but yeah, <laughs> I was just happy we finally were stable and didn't have to worry and stress out about this place and even so I live in a place that well it does have its issues, in the end I'm just happy I finally got a place to live, honestly, I mean definitely hasn't been easy honestly, like life is still kind of crazy and there's some other stuff that happened of course the last couple of weeks have definitely not been easy with deal with massive major anxiety that's that's always been a kind of major struggle for me like I think as I know I have very crippling anxiety and like I've always had that for a majority of my life but I think it's gotten really bad since I moved here like again not only is this kind of new for me but I pretty much got with my anxiety from my dad who as I mentioned before was a pretty an asshole and I know some things that he always do that I always make my anxiety go wrap it up and he always yelled at me for the little of his, he was always yelling for the little of things or the little mistake and cause that, I don't kinda, I can't get like very sensitive, I know that's probably kinda like an autistic thing honestly, but it's gotten really bad for me, because sometimes I can't help the littlest compliment or the little misunderstanding, I was feeling like I'm about to have a panic attack about it, even though I probably shouldn't have a panic attack about it. I mean, it, I mean that's something I kinda struggled for most of my life honestly, for being honest, but, it's definitely been a huge, that's been, uh, on the last few months, it's definitely been the biggest struggle on that front, honestly, because some ways I was definitely happy, especially since on my birthday, I was able to get another job, it's actually, actually only a few minutes to where I live, actually, and I've been loving it, it's been, a, it's an amazing place to work at, yeah, but it's gotten really bad, honestly, too, there was a point where I ain't got scared of my anxiety, and I ain't had a nightmare about it, that's how bad it got. If like now lately I got a better on there, I mean, despite the how crazy those couple weeks are deaf, I got that, I mean, I did kind of have a breakdown a little bit of, but more for me being kind of homesick in Florida, because that's also thing I was struggling with, basically feeling sad that I haven't, I really much just missed my last job down there, and all the people I met there, like, I really miss that place so much, like, you have no freaking idea, and they find I still keep in touch with all those people, but I really miss that place more than you ever know. I compared to all the friends I made there in general, and I also even miss my nieces there too. And there's also stuff about Matt that I'm not really going to get into in this video, and so that's kind of personal, private stuff, honestly, that I really want to talk about, at least not in this video, but that's also been a struggle as well. So, I of course, also in last, also last week, also, also a couple weeks ago, my nana, my nana, my aunt, and his mom, fortunately, passed away. So I never really got to see often, but once I did, she was just she was honestly the white, and it was sad that she had to pass away as soon as she did, which was really unfortunate. Like, you know, and, and I was, and that's why the first funeral I attended in a while again. Like the funny thing, I really thought of actually the first funeral I attended to that I remember I attended one a few years ago for a high school friend to end up passing away from alcohol poisoning, but. Yeah, that wasn't easy in the slightest. So obviously I've been through a lot of it this year, honestly. It's been crazy because I really have been keeping up with streaming and YouTube as well as much as I want to. But the other buildings right now, I actually end up having to take a rest of the year break from streaming because it's, 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 it's a weird thing because I do love streaming, but I feel like lately I haven't had the energy or the passion for it recently. recently and if, if, and I feel like still kind of is a bit up and down, honestly. And... I've just been feeling very tired and exhausted of a lot of times lately, I know it's because I'm still dealing with a lot of life stuff and this and that, and also still want to work on a few other things, like I'm actually kind of working on the capture card stuff right now, and, I've, and, I, and I do love my job 
Mecham, which is also another best job, but it's probably the it's one's probably the busiest one I've worn that so far. And it can get very exhausting because I think switching is also a two story place as well. But I, I do love that job. I do think it it, it honestly means job is honestly like when with the last job, it's honestly has been the big bright spot, honestly, and I do love working there, honestly. It's an amazing place that I really enjoy being at. Especially with the amazing managers and people that I work with. But like, I like a lot of all the best jobs, it kind of breaks us, especially when, because again, before I worked those jobs, I was not used to working some working that type of job, so. Then I'm also trying to get a hang of as well. Yeah, yeah, and I actually, what I was excited, I actually hope to be more consistent with streaming honestly once I get a house, but looking back on it, I probably sh I well honestly, looking back on it, I probably shouldn't have rushed, I honestly probably shouldn't have rushed to get back to streaming honestly, 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 like I definitely have fun with streaming honestly, but there are my days where I was kind of feeling down on, on myself about it, like am I even a good streamer honestly, am I doing wrong with this or that, and but that dial should be streaming on my PS4 didn't really help either. And then I think my unintentional like certain things get to me a bit as well. That's all unintentional obviously, which is something I can tend to I can tend to do as well, but that hasn't really been the easiest as well and you know, I probably shouldn't just probably just wait till the new year before I started streaming honestly and make because I reset which is actually what I'm doing right now actually. I was actually Playing on finishing off Red Cloud or Red Rock, which I actually, as I filmed this, I actually did recently beat that game and I will actually have a review for that game up very soon. soon it'll probably be just be a video discussion about the game, but I really want to feel like I can just talk about Red Rock, so expect I'll come back at some point this week. But but I do I enjoy stream on, so I really enjoy it honestly, but I just feel like I'm, life is just a little, a little bit too crazy for me to say, but I am going to be tuning in a new year, honestly. I'll, I will be continuing in the beginning. Call it basically kind of a reset of a year, or basically I'm going to be. Um, I, I'll, but I'll explain more about the Twitch stuff in, later on in this video. I feel like I have need to fix YouTube either, honestly. You know, because I, I mean, because again, I didn't decide to, I decided to shift into more music focused content, honestly, with occasional other stuff that I was planning on doing. But again, just having been feeling exhausted and doing a lot of stuff that's kind of been getting to me. And, uh, stuff that I really haven't been doing. Like, I'm most of the like singing covers on, so, and I was hoping I'd be able to do like a. I was hoping I was able to do like a Taylor Swift al album ranking on, just like maybe like a top 10 list on my favorite songs, Taylor Swift. And also, I'm gonna do also a couple of tier lists just as well, but never I ran to it. And it's unfortunately gonna be a content creator is that basically is trying to be consistent with it, and if you're not consistent with it, mm, don't. You're pretty much dead, and that's. So different stories that struggled with me for the last like few years, especially last year where last year I feel like I didn't even post hardly at all if I'm being honest, but that was also kind of up and down year, but it was definitely more ups and downs on say mostly because of my job at Rock Stockers. But they don't they don't switch me as I'm actually kinda of, this one is actually TikTok actually, but that's because more it's more just more just like one minute content, so that's kind of more easier for me to do, so I've also put some shorts like reviews on here as well. You know that I have actually been posting more consistent on Twitter. Whereas my videos posting my quick thoughts on the movies and shows that I've watched and the games I played. So you got to check the material out, which it will be linked description down below. You guys want to check that out. But yeah, overall, 2022 was a hell of a year for me. I mean, it was definitely a hell of a year for a lot of people. I'm just like saying all those crazy shit that's been going on in the world these days and that we still live in a pretty much a crappy society and everything and all that jazz like it's definitely a was a refuge probably for a lot of people but it definitely was for me it's probably the most life-changing and most drastic change i've been through in my life and i know next year is probably going to be the same honestly as i'm now i'm going to start to pay for rent honestly which if i do make enough money in my job to where that's not going to be a concern thank god and and then, you know, that, you know, who knows what happened also with streaming as well with that front as well so we'll see how that goes so I know that paying for rent honestly is not going to be a really concern for me so thank god they can have actually gotten better with money lately thank god on that too thank god on that no this is going to be around 12 emails on twitch that I probably should have but that's a story for another day but that day I've also gotten better with money which is Definitely not plus. I felt like I've grown in certain areas this year, honestly. I definitely got better 
like in, like in that phase where I feel like I'm getting better with control and anxiety and not getting ups and those things that I usually would upset me, but I don't, which thank God on that. Again, I got better control of my money and got better with managing my time a little bit better, honestly, and got better with not trying to spend so much time on Twitch while you stream as much as I do. Well, trying my grand support of all my streamers, I don't want to have that be all I do this year, so yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking somebody that definitely feel like I've improved myself, honestly. Uh, uh, I've improved in some ways, which, uh, like I said before, kind of a big change was kind of like what I wanted out of life. That's kind of what I always wanted, honestly. Honestly, that's something I was kind of thinking of the last couple of years, but it's one of the things where I kind of want to change a big change in my life, but I do really not have to go about it or have to do it because, you know, trying to change your life, I'm trying to. Dude, this one that's not as easy to sound, especially when you kind of feel like you're stuck and you're not really sure what you want to do or how to do it or how to do something that when you feel like no matter how much you search for it or try to work for it, it's not very much there. That's kind of been me and trying to get my music out there and also trying to get my license as well, which I'm still actually aiming to work on next year is actually trying to get my license and trying to learn how to drive on, which I know is not definitely a huge choice for me because, again, my anxiety, but we'll see how that goes. On I maybe I'm hoping to find a couple of doing karaoke at a few more places very often next year, and also maybe also find a couple places to do gigs as well, and we'll see how that goes as well. Like I think I know there are a couple of places down near me where I can possibly ask if I can do gigs, so we'll, I'll worry about that. I'm going to work on that at some point this week, and we'll see how that goes. Basically, basically my life is. I think I feel like I'm a little more insecure, honestly. Honestly, I'm, and I feel like I was kind of a bit worried that I, there were certain things I wasn't going to do it, but for, for now, this is something that's kind of normal for people who have moved, and again, I pretty much lived in Florida my entire friggin' life, so being new at your I don't know much anybody, honestly, other people that are my job. It's definitely not an easy thing to deal with. Especially trying to adjust the freaking cold that's also the thing i'm trying to adjust to it being freaking cold and as i filmed how it even like snowed yesterday last night and i had to come through a lot some snow when i was walk earlier so that's also i'm trying that's also something i'm trying to adjust to as well to deal with the cold as well which definitely hasn't been easy but i'm getting back of it honestly i'm getting better at least i'm getting better at but my cold whenever i go out <laughs> But yeah, I think I just, I just get this little bit of fling as what's going on with me throughout this year and all that jazz, what I'm dealing with. And again, it's definitely not been easier in the slightest for me. But I think in the end, I feel like I'm a more better person. I'm a more, more better person. I'm, I'm sure there's some feeling I'm doing that I'm going to weigh. Like, I'm sure I'm probably always going to have anxiety. Like, I'm always going to be myself up for having anxiety. But I think that's really more because of the crippling anxiety that I had caused by my dad. That's the time that I always knew it was going to be a huge struggle trying to get over. Because sometimes even the littlest problems will kind of set me off a bit. And it's not the usual just get emotional, just like, a, like an actual freak out attack, honestly. Like, like that's, it gets that bad. Like, it kind of gets that bad, honestly. And I don't know if you can call that being, being sensitive, but... Yeah, it's freaking rough trying to have better control over all that stuff. Like, <laughs> but I'm hoping to learn to actually have, at least have better control over it. I mean, there's some days I do actually have great control over it, and there's as much some days I do have it, and if it does, just try to be better next day. So, so I, so I got to show enough myself over anxiety, like. I mean, it freaking sucks for a reason, but what you need to do, especially when you go through your whole life, but I'm really not having a better mindset. I mean, it's not the best mindset, but at least it's a better mindset, honestly, so. So, we're gonna see how that goes, honestly. Again, I'm still aiming to try to work and get my driver's license next year, so I can mention as well. I'm kind of not gonna have consistent. I'm gonna be YouTube stream next year, if I'm really being honest with you guys, but. I think we'll see how it goes on saying I've been actually been more consistent on TikTok and do plan on being more consistent next year. I think I'm gonna try and make that a little more music centric on scene when we post like little covers and little snippets on scene on TikTok. 
و اناماتور که تنگ پریم کنه در پرسه باسی ها هم درگاه بوده هست Like I said, it's a search below. And again, this channel will also be much more music centric as well. In fact, I think like next week or at the beginning of next year, I'm still debating. I actually will have a big ranking video on every season of The Voice, which is a season ranking I've actually been wanting to do for quite some time. Honestly, and as I'm feeling this, tomorrow's going to be the finale of season 22, so that's actually kind of perfect, honestly. So, I mean, we'll have it at some point either next week or the beginning of next year. It really depends on how you feel honestly, but again, somewhere around that I will have that ranking for you guys. I'm still hoping to do some more like tier list later for this world. Like I definitely also want to do one on every season of Survivor. I want to do one every season of Big Brother, The Amazing Race and other big shows and maybe some other movie franchises as well. Like as well and I do want to do, do some of the album rankings and List is a list that I want to do as well, but I definitely want to work on that as well. So, we'll see how that goes. But I'm obviously going to do it in a way where I'm not like putting myself out because that's something I have unintentionally done to myself with YouTube because I, I much love filming videos and all that stuff. I don't want to end up feeling too much to where I feel like it's all I'm doing and bring myself out. That's also something I've also been kind of struggling as well is trying to basically live my life outside of content creation. Honestly, I feel like sometimes it's because all I do, it says all I do, and I basically want to do stuff that's kind of not above that, if that makes any sense. Because, I mean, YouTube, of course, pretty much like saved my life, honestly. It's something that I at least give me something to do, but I basically want to work on do some stuff that basically does, like, was not just me just always being involved in content creation, not just working on content creation and stuff. Hopefully, I'm making sense of what I'm saying, but that's kind of been a big struggle for me I've been dealing with as well, and I'm Sure, that's an issue that pretty much every content creation deals with as well, but my point is I actually do have a good feeling about 2020 again. We'll be able to, it might be a, still a bit crazy of a year, and I'm sure that means some more crazy that's going to happen, especially when we will end up having to buy a house, honestly, which is something that we have planned doing at some point next year. So that's all crazy. I mean, I feel like once again, I think that she we're going to have to like, pack everything again and basically just move again. But at least there will be an, um, some, at least that'll probably be the last thing I'm going to do it on to. So, that was going to be another issue based on my anxiety myself. Plus, because again, I'm not feeling, still not feeling fully settled, but at least we have a secure place. But, hopefully, I'm making sense when I say that. But, but I actually do have a good feeling about trying to again. I'm sure there will be the struggles. I'm sure there will be pains, honestly. But, at least I'm going in with a much better mindset. At least I'm not going in feeling depressed. At least I'm not going in feeling sad. At least I'm not going in feeling just blah. If that makes any sense. Then I'm also in the being on in getting a second job, honestly, just to basically to get a house a little more. So mostly how that goes as well. And you guys can follow my Twitter and Instagram if you guys want to keep updated on what goes on during my life. I'm sure guys who follow me on both of the all the platforms probably know all the stuff that I'm talking about in this video. <coughs> but I figured I explained in the YouTube videos plan what's to come with my YouTube channel going forward or what's coming with my stream going forward. I'm, I'm aiming hoping to be back on, on the second or third of next month. Well that channel my it'll be like a total reset and that's hoping by the time I'm be able to work my capture card on there and I actually plan on doing my 900 follow stream on stray. That that cat game that came out this year that I still have not played, but I forget. But when I hit how short that, I forget. I just play that game through one sitting and see how that goes. And see how short it really is. So I always play that play that game as well, and and I do plan to announce the plan. I actually start to stream more Genshin Impact because I really enjoy my air from that game. So I do plan having one day where besides stream Genshin. So we'll see how that goes. Again, and I also do plan on just the content to basically play and just Ratchet and Clank, Kingdom Hearts, and Lego content. Because that's the game franchise I'm really a lot more passionate, the most passionate about. So I, I, I imagine two very basic I played those games, maybe to like different speed runs or different runs in general of those games. I'm still kind of need to work on that stuff, but I'll keep it updated on that honestly. But to end this video off, I want to say is. Thank you to everyone that has been there for me throughout this year. Again, there's so many people I could name, honestly, but that would be a, it's a very way longer, honestly. But just, you know who you are. Thank you to everyone 
who has been there for me during this rough period in my life. As someone who basically has always struggled with making friends, as someone who has struggled with keeping friends, honestly, because I will be accused of being annoying and a creep and a terrible person, as someone who has struggled so much with trying to make friendships and keep friendships and, and when they're like losing and being ghosted for no apparent reason, as someone who's really struggled with that for the majority of his life, the fact that I do have people that truly and genuinely care about me is an incredible feeling. Again, I definitely think YouTube, that's the, the thing I think about YouTube and Twitch. I think it gave me a lot of amazing friendships with the people, fucking movie reviewers, game, video game content creators, um, ASMR especially, people that I really have grown great friendships with throughout my life. All the Twitch streamers and gamers I'm becoming really great friends with and still am really great friends with throughout, like, this has been two years since I've started taking it more seriously, because cause, cause I, cause I usually just watch Rainsford just for ASMR, but ever since January, ever since December 4, 2020, 2020, I basically started watching more frequently, and well, I don't, I'm still making friends with a lot of great streamers that I consider to be my true great friends. But you know, I'm still you know, taking a lot of my coworkers, like, Maybe before the one back in my job in Florida, or the ones that my last job, my last job, that's what's happening in the square, and the one I currently work at. Just thank you for being my good, being my friends. Thank you for being here for me. Thank you for just being awesome people, and for truly making me feel like I do belong. Do me feel like I am loved and appreciated again. Is it something really I don't really feel often if I'm being honest? Not, I'm not I'm not saying I don't feel for my family obviously, I'm not saying that at all. I, they do definitely do that, but I'm just talking about like friends in general. And I definitely and it's, it makes me feel to know that people actually do care about you and people actually do cherish you and they do love you and your, your little quirks and your personality. And it, it means more to me than you guys will always ever know. So just Thank you for, and thank you to all the streamers, all the YouTubers, the co-workers that have helped me through this insane work period in my life. Those who have constantly checked in on me, those who have messaged me, those who have had great conversations with. Like, just thank you. Thank you. And I cannot just thank you enough for everything you guys have done for me. And let's just pray to God that 2023 will be a much better year. I hope I, I don't just jinx myself to honestly, but I am praying to God the next year and a much better year for this guy. I am Samuel Wolf, Samuel Blessings, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.